Hey everyone, how's it going? Got an equipment autopsy for y'all today. Um, what I got is a Respitronics Rems Remstar Auto M Series A Flex sleep apnea machine. So this is a machine that some would wear over their mouth or nose during the night when they sleep, and it would help them breathe. And uh, I picked it up during a cleanup week, and I. I've got several older ones that are much seem to blow a lot more air, so I'm just going to take this one apart. I can't resell it. You can't resell medical stuff like this because people don't know what might be wrong with it or why it was thrown out or what's going on. So I'm just going to tear it apart for you guys and show you all what goes on inside. It does work. I will turn it on. Um, I actually powered up right now. It uh, it runs off of 12 volts, 4.16 amp adapter. You'll see that there. So, like this is upside down to me, but uh, I'll do it just for purposes of the video. So, uh, it's got a crap load of options, a lot of which you can't change unless you go into the configuration, which I actually had to look up online how to do. But uh, basically you hook up a hose and the other end goes to the mask that goes over your face and then you put that on your face and then you sleep. The hose is quite quite long. I can't see all that but yeah. And you hook it up on the back. Little intake filter there. Non-Core Pro smart card. So this would allow like a registered nurse to load specific data or something like that onto it or look at look at stats the machine has uh, generated over the night or a week or whatever. It'll work without it, but this just happened to be in it when I found it. Uh, not too much on the front. This one has the add-on um, humidifier. So you've put water in this, and you see there's an inlet and an outlet, and um, there's a metal pad on the bottom, which coincides with this part here. This would get warm. I don't, I don't know how hot it actually gets, but uh, it would turn some of the water into a mist and put it into the airstream. Basically, it's to keep your, it's to keep your throat, your mouth and your throat from getting dried out during your sleep because I imagine something like this would dry the heck out of you without this without this add-on. Let's put this back together here. Alright, so I'll just kind of turn it on quickly here. You won't see much. You, you'll hear the fan. It's not really that loud. I got it set to its maximum maximum uh, speed so yeah like I said there's not much to see there so uh, I guess I'll start opening this thing up now this whole part here is a complete separate attachment I'll try and keep this in the camera view while I do this So this is the whole the whole heater part. Power connection there. So your air actually your air actually comes out of here. Your blower's in there. Intake output goes in there through here, picks up some moisture, then comes back out here and then goes to your goes to your face mask. Uh is there a uh, doesn't really say. It's a model 1051157 M series heated humidifier, and this is a this is just a model 5511M Auto M series ResMap BiPAP machine, DC 3 amps, 12 volts. I don't know how old this thing is, but it's a lot newer than the other ones they got, which are like the Sullivan 3s and Sullivan 4s. 
No, well, actually, I guess I'll uh, I'll take this bit apart first. I've already had it apart once. Look inside it. Stuff stuff like this, I just can't resist not having a look in. I've never had one of these particular ones before. Not too much to see in this part. It's basically just electrical connections for your heater. So that's your heater pad. Not too much to it. Let's see if I can actually pop it pop it open. It looks like there's only like a, a little clip. Um Alright, so there's, I can't really pull any further, the wires. There we go. So there's your heater. 50 watts at 12 volts. That's, that's kind of an interesting heater. I've not really seen anything quite like that before. There's an over, an over temperature sensor. I don't know if it's a permanent or resettable. The fact that it's got three, the fact that it's got three wires, black, yellow, red. Hmm. Interesting. You can kind of see where each lead goes. So the yellow one's connected through what looks like a little resistor, little resistor there. Uh, come on, focus, focus, and joins onto this side. So I don't know; it might it might detect thermal resistance or something. I I don't know. And you've got your little circuit board that controls that. So this is actually where you hook up your power, assuming you have this whole assembly here. And then this hooks into the actual blower assembly. So the power must just pass through here completely. It looks like it does. I don't think there's much else to see here. These wires here just go right through there and it must go up to your controller here. I don't care if I destroy it at this point. It's just... Ah, oh, there we go. So there's a little bit, little ribbon connector. That's for this. Be curious to see what uh, if that's just a uh, potentiometer or a rheostat or or what. I've not gone this far, so I don't know. Actually, you can see it right there. Hmm. It's kind of neat that they use the see-through. Wait a second. What the hell? So, okay, I got to get a closer look. That's that's cool. How the heck is this thing held together? Oh, we've got clips.
So it looks like it's all one piece. It looks like that's the switch, that little potentiometer down there. It looks like it's using two ball bearings pushed together to make connection. There we go. All right, let's get in there. There's a little um, little pressure sensor there. That's kind of neat. All right, little brute force I think is required. There we go. All right. So I'll see if I can zoom in and keep this in focus here. Now, I could be wrong, but that looks like two little ball bearings. That are probably held in place by a magnet on the other side. I've never seen anything like that. So that's just one, two, three, four, and five, but I wonder if this I wonder if this knob comes off. So I know there's an LED, there's an LED under it. There we go. So nothing special there. So your actually your LED's right your LED's right there. But I, I want to get that switch out of there completely and have a have a little closer look at that. Yeah, that's those are ball bearings. I've never seen this. I've never seen a switch done like that before. And I can see the magnet on the other side. That's that's actually a really neat idea. Wow. I think I'll just hold on to that just for just because <laughs> well, I've never seen anything like it. Cool. There we go. That's that's really neat. I wonder if I wonder if those little ball bearings, I wonder if they rotate as you turn this and it keeps the it keeps them from ever getting dirty. The contacts from ever getting dirty, like a regular volume knob. Sometimes you'll just have to work it back and forth to get all the static out of it. I wonder if this is a way around that. That's really cool. I like that. All right, now to get into the mechanical side of it. All right, so you got you got a little filter. Actually, you got two filters. There's another little filter there, but I don't know. It's not really in the airstream. I wonder. What, don't know why that's there. Your card. Now, my bit doesn't reach all the way down to these holes, so I know this actually does work. So here's the brains. I will try and run this once I get the blower out. I'm just going to give you a look at all its circuitry there. I'd like to see Big Cleave try to uh, reverse engineer this board. Good luck. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. I mean, he probably could, but he probably wouldn't want to waste the time doing it. Your display. There's a there's a lot of stuff on this board. 
So your display was just like that. I'll keep, I'll actually keep that intact for now. Cause if I plan to run it, I don't want to damage anything else beforehand. There we go. Okay, so um, I, I have actually had this apart before, as I said. Um, it's just been a little while. I think this is only held together with some clips. Yeah. So this is your mo This is your blower. So it's held in place with this uh, clip ring, I guess. Got some sound deadening. And here's your actual blower. It's actually a really cool little blower. I was, I was quite impressed by a little bit of engineering that was done into this. Alright, let's try that again. Memory card got full. Uh, so here's your blower. Very compact little unit. Probably three phase. So I won't be able to just hook DC up to it and run it because it will be controlled by the uh, the whole brains of this. Uh, quite a large, quite a large uh, foam cavity it's set in for uh, sound dampening and vibration. Sensors for pressure. Um, oh yeah, the the card reader is actually removable. Smart card module. I might as well open it. Alright, so there you go. So if you've ever wondered about these cards that have here like a um like a credit card. So when you slide it in, you're basically cre creating connections with these raised pins here. Now you can't see it, but those pins are right over uh Actually they're not. They're right well, no, they are. Yeah, it looked like they were over farther than that. So yeah, so that reads this. I'm not sure what this one here does. There's nothing on the card to make a connection there, but there's clearly something there, and I'm not sure what. I wonder if this will come out. It will. Not much to see on the back. So yeah, card reader. Uh, let's see, what else can I get out here? This might be glued down, I'm not sure. Let's just rubber there. Um... I think this here is just glued down. Well, not glue, but in a double-sided tape. There's where your airflow went. So your airflow comes in the back there, under underneath the foam that's already here. And there's a there's a gap there. I can stick my finger right in there. And it follows these channels here, comes around and goes into your blower. Just like that. So this is for some extreme sound dampening. Oh, let me just 
trying to figure out what is holding the rest of this I see a clip there I say I don't want to particularly ruin this just yet because I'd like to run it There we go. So not much else underneath, just your foam. So that's that's kind of neat. And so So you got two sensors there, two pressure sensors. Actually three pressure sensors. MPAP CR sensor. Um, there we go. So that's just a that's just a direct pass through. I wonder why it has that uh, plastic piece in the middle. Perhaps it's to uh, straighten the airflow. Maybe, maybe the airflow spirals a little bit. Now it's just that's probably to straighten it. You get your sensors right there, and your connection to your humidity thing there. The only thing left is this little reader card. Reader card here. I don't know if I can get that out or not. So it's just a connection. Connection for this. Uh, you would you would go on just like that just sit on just like that it's nothing too special about that All right, so not too much to see on the blower like I say I have had this open before there's not much to see under here little gasket and if I spin it So that's the back of your shaft there. I haven't been able to get any farther than this. I cannot get that off. I have tried. I do not want to destroy this. So I'm not, I, I would have liked to have gotten in to see the motor because I think it'd be neat. But um, so take this off here to show you the impeller. So nothing too special about the impeller, other than it's a little bit, a little bit thicker than like a dustbuster blower. All right, I'll hook this stuff back up, and um, I'll see if I can make it run for you. All right, I didn't actually have to hook up that much to get this board to boot. Just had to hook up the air sensor module and the actual blower. Without this on, it was just beeping and shooting errors at me and all that shit. Um, I stuck a little piece of reflective tape. I'm gonna get an RPM reading because this thing clocks some clocks some speed behind it. So I'll plug it in. I'll let the board boot up.
slowing down a bit. Let me just try that one more time. Well, it seems to be hard to get a reading, but uh, yeah. 29,000. Holy shit. I'm going to take this back off. If I can. And just uh, put the cover on that, that you all have a listen to it. So when it's not in the, uh, when it doesn't have everything else around it, it's actually, uh, it's actually quite a powerful little blower. It doesn't sound that powerful, but... So, um, that pretty much does it for a, uh, a Remstar Auto M-Series Aflex sleep apnea machine. There's some cool stuff in it. I don't, I don't know what I can, uh, if I can rig something up to run this blower without having this giant board to run it. Um, yeah, so you may see a future video with this blower in it, with some crazy speeds. I mean, it already goes crazy fast, but I'm sure it could do more. So with that, uh, hit the like button if you uh, like this equipment autopsy. Hit dislike if you didn't like it. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, yeah, so thanks for watching everyone.